Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the write and read method from the front door access side, and we discussed the poke and peek method from the back door access. In this video, I will be talking about the predict method. Okay. I hope you remember when we discussed set method in that i told you the set method is used to update the desired value variable of a register model it will not update the mirrored value variable of a register model but on the other hand this predict method is there which is used to update both the desired value variable as well as the mirrored value variable of a register model let me show you the syntax for this. So the syntax for this is very simple. Register block instance dot register instance dot predict. And within parenthesis, we have to provide a value which we want to you know, write into the desired value variable and the mirrored value variable. So this 15 is there with which uh, the desired value and mirrored value variable will be updated. Okay. Now let me show you the code for this. The code is very simple. Okay. Already we discussed all the classes are same transaction class, driver class, agent class, register class, register block. Also same. Just here, remember, we have to give set auto predict is equal to one, which is implicit prediction. Now, let me show you the register class, register sequence for this. So, this register sequence is also same till this task body. Okay. Here, we have to define in the body, we have to define the field status, which is of type UVM status and two variables desired value variables and mirrored value variable and the size should be same as the hardware register okay. now here just i'm printing a default or initial value of this desired value variable as well as mirrored value variable using this info so the code for this is simple desired value variable is equal to register block instance dot register instance dot get so it will give the initial value of a desired value whereas the get mirrored value is used to give the initial value of the mirrored value now let me and here just we are using info to print the initial values of this desired and mirrored value now let me show you the syntax for the predict image. So as I told you, this predict method is used to update the desired and mirrored value variable. So it, it will not update the hardware register, remember. Meaning, it won't perform any transaction on DU. Just it will update the desired as well as mirrored value variable of a register mode. So the syntax for this register block instance dot register instance dot predict method and in the parenthesis the value here i am giving 15 and after this predict method if we are printing the desired value variable and mirrored value variable using get and get mirrored value you will find both the desired as well as the mirrored value contained will be 50 because in the predict method we are giving 15 value in the parenthesis uh, the remaining code is same for adapter for the environment for the test and all just we are changing the register sequence let me run this code and let me show you the result for this code we'll try to see the waveform also so that if it is not performing any transaction on DUT, so the waveform 
will show the unknown values to us. Okay. Let me run this code and we'll analyze the result. Meanwhile, let me show you the result from the PPT itself. It is taking time. So the simulation result for predict method, you will find the initial values of this desired and mirrored value will be zero. Okay. And after predict method, the desired variable will be 15 and the mirrored variable will be 15. Okay, because in the predict method in the parenthesis we gave 15. Right? And if you analyze the waveform, you will find the content of the register is unknown because this predict won't perform any transaction on DUT register. It will update the desired as well as the mirrored value variable of a register. Okay. Let me check the code. Let me show you the result over here. We'll try once if, if it is taking long time, then you can play around this with code. I'll put a link of this code in the description. You can go and you can play around with this code. Anyway, it's taking some time, okay. Let me stop it. Okay, it's taking time. I will put a link of this code in the description. You can go or you can go through this code and you can play around with this code. So you'll find the result uh, will be same. Okay, so desired value and mirrored value, initial value will be zero. And after predict method, desired and mirrored value will be updated to 15. And you'll find the waveform something like this. Okay, so with this, I hope you have understood the concept of this predict method okay. and also i hope you enjoyed this video so in the next video we'll try to understand this update mirror and the randomize method okay. so thanks for watching this video thank you